It is absolutely rammed. It's so busy, everyone's queuing just to get to the tables. First boot sale of the season that was. What a waste of time. It was absolutely rammed. It's a new one, right? Set up over in Newport, running on Sundays, or I think every other Sunday, somewhere like that. 8.30 it said, to get there for buyers. But when you turn up and there's more people coming out than going in, you know you got there too late. Thing is, we are dying for the boot sale season to get cracking. And really, around Cardiff and Newport, there's only two big ones over the summer and they haven't started yet. So whenever there's a sniff of a boot sale on and the sun's good, everyone descends it. A whole 10 mile radius of resellers and just general punters going down, seeing what there is. And for me, there was absolutely nothing there. I will of course be going to the boot sales this summer, but we need those two big ones to get going again. What you find then is that people split between the two and whatever ones are going on there, and there's a bit more to go around. That's when you start to find a few bargains. I was hoping this video would be a bit more boot sale orientated, but instead we're gonna hit a few charity shops to see what we can find. But it has given me an idea of a little series I might do over the summer. I wanna just find out which ones work best for me. Do I do better at boot sales? Do I do better at charity shops? Which ones do I make more profit off? What do I find more for the collection? That type of thing. Haven't worked out an exact format for it, but we still got a few weeks to work that out. Anyway, charity shop time. Decent little game down here. Linky, still got all the plastic on, brand new. How much is it? Three quid. That's all right, you know. Sold on this, about 15. And it doesn't look like they hang around too. Look at this panning up from the games. Hanging on the wall, you've got a barber coat. Strange place for it to be. All the clothes in that are over there, so why is this here? Barber badge on the front, bit of embroidery down the bottom there. Looks in good condition. 75 quid. 75 quid. The reason that is there is because they're embarrassed about the price. If that was a reasonable price, it would be mixed in with everything else. You almost put it out of the way that you can't even reach it. This is more me. Bag of cars for a pound. Most of them in there worth absolutely nothing. But there's a Monster Jam Monster Truck. Out of madness. None of these listed on eBay. It is one of the Hot Wheels ones. Condition's pretty wrecked, but I'll still aim for a tenner for that. 75 quid for that barber coat. You can almost tell they don't really believe that that's the price it should be. I mean, usually if you've got some high-end stuff like that, it's out in the window, isn't it? It's on display, it's trying to get people into the shop to have a look at it. In fact, it was tucked at the back, right by the toys as well. You see the parents rummage around the 50p pound boxes for toys for their kids. Oh, you know what? There's a barber coat up there, 75 quid. Yeah, I think I'll get that as well. 50p box of cars, yeah. Renault tractor, nice bit of weight to it. 1985 Britons on the side. Now there are a fair few bits missing. Should have like an orange trim and some steps on both sides that's been snapped off. The exhaust on the side there, that's missing. What it has got going for it, it has got this cab. Some of the ones that I've sold have that cab missing. 50p, I'll push a tenner plus post on that. I wanna do a bit of research on this as well. It's a brand I've not heard of before. See at the top there, Siku. But look there, it says made in Germany. Anything like this, made in Germany, you can kind of feel the quality in it. Stickers, they're reasonable on the front. Got all the wheels on it. 50p, worth picking up for the research. Get a bit of CX credit up on the shelf here, Ella. Minecraft Season 2 Story Mode, Xbox One. Pound, trade in, five pound cash, eight pound trade in. Oh, I've sold that one before. Usually comes with a little bone. What does it say? Three pound, no remote untested. Looks pretty beat up around the edges as well, doesn't it? Now we'll leave that. I recognize those chicken legs. That's Hey Hey off of Moana, isn't it? Disney tag down the bottom there. How much are you selling for? Pound. Looking at sold listings. Might be able to push 15 for that. It's an interesting one as well. What's that from then? Disney tags on the back there. Looking on Google Lens, this one's off of Frozen. Brand new, they sell for about 20. There is a fair few listed on eBay. Pre-owned, the price isn't as strong as that. It's only a pound 50. I'll pick it up. I don't have to push top price to make a bit of profit because it is only a pound 50. Just popped in the charity shop there. I found this game guide, Metroid Other M. Buy a primer down there, cost a fiver. 
None listed on eBay, none sold in the UK, but the game's different enough that someone might be looking for that. I'll list that for 15 quid to see how it goes. They also had Mario for the Wii, game guide for a fiver, sold on that about a tenner, but the cover was absolutely battered, so I left that. But then they had two other game guides in there, priced 45 pounds each. One of them was Zelda, can't remember the name of the other game, Gold and something. I mean, sold for that Zelda is about a tenner. 45 quid. 45 quid each for two bucks. Another barber quilt with jacket here. Maybe that is the price. Maybe that is the going rate. It's quite a cool set here. Mashbox Churchill AVRE model kit. Six quid. Seems expensive on the face of it. But sold. Looking about 15 plus post. It is open. But it's been sellotaped back up. Actually, you know what? Shaking it about, it could already have been built. I mean, the whole fun of these is actually building them in it from scratch. And now we leave it. Jelly cat guy, be proud of me. Look, baby toys, 50p to two pound up there. A little jelly cat rabbit. Let's pick it up for him. Here he is. Quick gangly legs. Three quid. Little rattle inside. Got him, I? This is quite cool here. Yeah. Bowser's Castle. It's by Jack Specific. It's only 450. Not sure if it works. Looks like you need to batches in there make sounds. And it's got a few figures with it, look. Bowser, Mario. Peach has been decapitated. I think with this it was sell through rate. Loads listed for about 12 plus post, something like that. Handful sold around that price. Some a bit higher to be fair. I don't know how I'm going to make that list stand out in front of everyone else's, particularly with a bit of damage on some of the characters. Now nah, we'll leave it. A couple of rescue bots up on the shelf. I think I've got both of these. I've definitely got that one. I've got the orange one of this. I think I've got the white one. So I don't need them for the collection. Paint's a bit decked on that one anyway. Pound fifty each. At that price, it's probably not even worth picking them up to bundle. Nice to see them out and about, but I'm not picking them up. I like the look of these boots down here, you know. Puma One. Not like a top, top end brand, but a solid mid range. Well, they UK Sevens, Fiver. Molded studs on the bottom, good for when the ground gets a bit hard over summer or for pre season training. Fiver. Might squeeze a ton of profit out of that. And then up on the shelf, a little bit more CEX credit. This will be a pound. Trades in for about three. Between the CEX pickups last week and this week, I picked up Turtle Shredder's Revenge for the Switch. Cost 25 quid in CEX, but using the vouchers, that's only cost me a tenner cash. Not a bad price to be fair. Full set of Tokyo Ghoul, 1 through to 14, 35 quid. Sold, 50 to 60. Spend 35 to maybe make 20. I've already found enough today, really, to keep my listings going. A bit too much expenditure for the anticipated return. Still a nice collection on the shelf, isn't it? Two quid for this bag here. A couple of monster jams in there. So tempted with that in the window there. Lego for 15 quid, but it's all train track. And at the bottom there, you've got like a little handset. I can see the motor at the back there. A few bits of the train at the front. Now the bag isn't big enough to have the whole set in, I don't think. But I think even those bits alone, just splitting them up, there's 15 quid's worth, they're easy. There we are, batteries in. The controller connects up to the hub. Looks pretty good to me. Tested and working. Brand new, the last one of these sold for about 60 quid. It's gotta be worth at least 30, right? Have a look at this. This could be find of the day. It's really quiet in here, I'll take you outside. I'll tell you a bit more about it. Check out this version of Mater off a of Disney car. It's a 50p box coming good again. Mattel stamp on the bottom there. He's got his plastic bat out of hell wings there. This is heavy metal music video Mater and this is a really rare variant of him. Condition's pretty reasonable. A few scuffs and chips around the edges. You can see just up on the light there as well. The last one of this one sold for about 40 pounds. So all in all, a pretty good day in the charity shops. Picked up a mixture of bits, but really none of it is going to take too long to list. Not much research listed. I'll get that up on eBay and get that sold hopefully pretty quick. 
Over the past couple of weeks, eBay sales have been pretty solid and consistent. Here's a couple of my favorites. I gotta start the sales off with this really cool set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bedding straight out of the 90s. Looks epic, doesn't it? Caroline jumped on my store, saw this. She's bought it for a bit of nostalgia, let's be honest, but really, it's for a five-year-old son. And what five-year-old is not gonna love that bedding? Caroline, you're a legend. This is becoming a bit of a reseller staple, isn't it? We won't dwell on it. Deal or no deal, board game, that's sold for 20 quid. I've got to show you this as well. Shout out Matthew. Saw that these were live on my eBay store, jumped on them straight away and picked them up. It's a set of Ted Smart hardback books. Harry Potter. It's a great read, isn't it? But I think they display really well, particularly if you can find the full set with this blocky style like that. Matthew, really hope you enjoy these. Thanks for supporting the channel. And in this CEX bag here, I've got five rescue bots. I chose to just bundle these together. I've already got these in my collection, so these are the doubles. In fact, I could have sold some of these on their own, to be fair, but what I've done is I've used the more valuable ones to lift the price of the lower value ones. Those five there, £18.50. I've sold two Transformers G1 Jump Starters. We've got Twin Twister and Top Spin. I've already got two of these up on my shelf, tested and working, and these are quite temperamental. They've got little tabs on there. You fold them up, pull them back, and when they've gone far enough, they do spring out. I sold these ones because these ones don't have as good stickers or they're a bit discolored compared to the ones I've got. Basically, I've kept the best ones, sold the worst ones on. These are sold for 16 quid all in. Frustration, an absolute classic board game. pop matic dice, board and 16 counters. That's all you need. Paid a pound for that over in Barry, sold for 15. And then I sold this TY tag, Gary the Snail SpongeBob plush. Worth looking out for that one. That's sold for 15 quid. This digital camera did not hang around at all. It's a Canon IXUS 870. I picked this up from the charity shop for 20 quid. I don't really know much about digital cameras. They have three in there. I searched them all upon sold listings. The solds on this one look really promising. Great condition. In fact, it's still got the screen protector on the back there. Battery, memory card. Had a few offers around the £60 mark and I was tempted with that. But the thing is, it had only been up for a few days. So I thought, let's just hold on a little bit. And lo and behold, someone come in, full price, 20 into 80. I sold three David Beckham PSA 9 football cards. This was the first one to sell here. It's from the Futera set 1997, so one of his earlier cards. I had this listed up for £50, but these have been on the store for a long while. Someone come in and offered 25 quid, and I thought, you know what? I have it for 25 quid. And then I guess the buyer thought, hang on, that's a really good deal. Let's see if he's got any more. So they jumped on and bought that as well. Those three cards, 75 quid all in. This was random. This is the Harry Potter Hogwarts manual. I've got a couple of the pieces there, certainly not all of them. I do have a couple of the minifigures, but that manual there was worth selling on its own. That's all for 10 quid. I put a little Transformers bundle together. Bundled here is about 12 Transformers. These are ones that I've got doubles of, or ones that just don't fit in the collection. They aren't worth selling individually either. They're not particularly high-end. But the thing is, toys like this don't have to be high-end. You don't always have to target collectors or the higher value prices. Kids still love playing with toys, and kids love playing with Transformers. That bundle there, that's sold for £18.50, but I'm sure whatever kid gets these, they're going to have a ton of fun with them. After my win against Connor in the reseller battle, this is what took round five for me. Mighty Mac, the truck off of Disney cars. Inside here, you can store up to 16 diecast cars vehicles. Push the hat, make sounds, taking the battery out. Paid two pounds for that, took an offer that sold for 27 and on the same day as well. This sold on the same day that I listed it as well. Mega Bloks Halo. Don't write off Mega Bloks. People just think it's cheap Lego, but Mega Bloks have licenses for certain things that Lego don't. Halo being one of them. If it's sealed, definitely look it up. I may have sold this a bit cheap. Bought it in the morning, listed it in the afternoon for 30 and took an offer that evening, £28. I had a ton of Ninjago Lego just sat over there that needed sorting. Easter holidays was the perfect time for that. Did it with my boys, listed it up. This is the first one to sell. Got the instructions, but this is the Ice Dragon. And it's got Zane sat on top there. Got the other little minifigure. I've just plonked her on the wing there so she doesn't get lost. There are a few little bits missing, a few of these spikes. But overall, that's a cool looking Lego set, isn't it? That there, that's all for 30 quid. I bought a ton of large size Care Bears in the charity shop and the lady gave me a deal if I bought them all, so I did. But as I was leaving the shop, I saw this little dude tucked away at the bottom of the basket and the lady said I could just have him for free. This one right is probably the most valuable of all the ones I bought. We're not talking a mega amount of money. This guy's from 2004, he was really grubby, so I put him through the washing machine. That one there, sold for £21. 
If it's an unusual ball game and it's sealed, I always look it up, particularly when they've got the original sale price of $24.99. Now, I did pay up on this. I can't remember. It was somewhat like a tenner, so I was never going to make too much more, considering you can buy it in the shops for that. Still, sold it on offer, £22.50. I found this retro set of Tomy gears. Now, these should come with a board. They've got magnets on the back. You stick them on, put them together, and they all spin round. But a lot of people just bin off the board and stick them on their fridge. These were absolutely filthy, right? Gave them a good clean, stuck them up on eBay for 20 quid. Someone offered me 15. They only cost me 50p. Had to accept that. This sale is a banger. And these were really hard to let go. I've got a set of original Transformers bed sheets, straight out of the 80s. I paid three pounds in the charity shop for these. I couldn't believe them when I saw them. I'm, tr I'm trying to hold them up just to show you. I think I'll just stick a picture. I've got the pillowcase as well. They're in great condition, these. Now, sold listings for these range from anything from 40 up to about 80. These were the only ones listed on eBay. I aimed high, 100 quid. I've had a few offers. I've had tons of watches. But an offer came in the other day, 65 quid. Undenied a little bit and then just remembered, hang on, I only paid three quid. Sometimes those offers are just too good to turn down and you never know when the next one's going to come in. I'm sad to see them go, but at that price, I'm sure they've gone to a collector who's really going to appreciate them. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I'm creeping up to that 10,000 subscriber milestone as well. So if this is your type of content, if you enjoyed this type of video, don't forget to hit that subscribe as well. I don't think I'll be hitting a boot sale this weekend. I don't think they're on in my local area, but I'll definitely be out in the charity shops next weekend where we can try and find some more stuff to sell on eBay or add to the collection. Catch up with you then.